This is Michael Saltzman from Blue Sky Bio. We've added new functionality to define a surgical guide insertion path to remove undercuts in version 4.82 of the Blue Sky Plan software. This version is now available to download from the Blue Sky Bio website. Before I discuss how it now works in version 4.82, let me discuss how it worked previously until now. In previous versions, undercuts were automatically removed at a perpendicular 90 degree angle to the surgical guide. So that's equivalent to viewing the surgical guide from the top and defining the insertion direction. Here we could see by our second premolar that this is the undercut that would automatically be removed in versions prior to 4.82. This was done automatically and there was no opportunity or ability to change that. Now in this new release, the user in normal or advanced mode could go ahead and adjust the angle of the insertion path of the path of insertion to remove the undercuts. What we did is in the wizard process flow, we defined an automatic default path of insertion at 30 degrees for the upper and lower jaws. So using the wizard process flow, the software takes an automatic default value as we do often during the wizard, we take a commonly accepted default value and use that as the standard and that happens automatically when using the wizard process flow. We now provide a visualization that when you're using the wizard and you go from the step of placing the implant and adjusting the implant position to the step of drawing the surgical guide, we provide a visualization of the model with the undercuts removed at a 30 degree angle. And we could see that right here. The user can now go ahead and draw the surgical guide curve on the model showing the undercuts removed at a 30 degree angle. And when they click next, the surgical guide is prepared and is visible on the same model with the undercuts removed, showing us that the surgical guide was fabricated with those undercuts removed. Clicking next again will show us the surgical guide on our original model. And we could see the spacing here where the undercuts were removed. Now in the surgical guide and advanced settings, if we don't do anything and do not define our path of insertion, undercuts will be removed at the same 30 degree angle automatically. The user can go ahead and choose to change that path of insertion simply by clicking on define insertion direction. Now again, if we wanted it, if we wanted the software to act the same way it did in previous versions, we could just click top, click the button, define insertion direction from view. We could see the brown areas where the undercuts would be removed. And then we would click create undercut model. It's necessary to click that button to create the model with the undercuts removed, and then to create the surgical guide on that model. If we wanted to define a 30 degree path of insertion similar to the wizard that's done by default. We could simply angle the arrow at our relevant angulation. And again, we could see the undercuts that will be removed. Either way, if you are defining insertion direction from the view or via the arrow, once you have the proper positioning, click create undercut model to create the model with the undercuts. We can see that once we click create undercut model, the software creates the model with the undercuts removed. It is visible by default on the screen and we could go ahead and click draw curve to start drawing the surgical guide curve. We also have the slider here, maximum allowed undercuts, meaning that if you wanna leave a bit of undercuts for more of a snap on effect, you could change the slider. If you go down to zero, it means you're not allowing any undercuts and all undercuts will be removed. The default is 0.1. We recommend to keep that the default unless you have a particular need and want to change it accordingly. But allowing more undercuts or raising the slider or raising the value here means that you're allowing more undercuts to remain on the model. 